Hey guys, Joshua Peterson here, Peterson Electric. Uh, we're not a hot tub company, but we do work on some spas. Uh, 20 years ago, I used to be an appliance tech, and hot tubs have a lot of similarities to just the natural appliance inside of the house. Um, this is an IQ Hot Springs 2020, so I think that's probably going to be about five, six, seven years old. Uh, that's kind of the style of it. It's really a four person tub, uh, 40 amp feet on the two pole circuit. And a complaint was is that it's cold out today here in Colorado getting our first freeze uh, video is October 2018 I checked my 30 amp 2 pole and my single pole 20 amp that's how you're gonna know if this is your spa uh, I definitely had power coming out I used my light bulb to test my GFCI protection on the back side to trip it besides pushing the button so all you guys who don't like my light bulbs it's a great way to do it Anyways, um, and then as far as the um, uh, power, we check voltage as well, 240 through, because the two pole 30 is your heater, and the one pole single pole 20 amp with the neutral is going to be for the controls. Um, there is one little indicator there. You've unplugged that LED light on the board, and it says LED, and if that doesn't help light up the board because the board gets a short, then you've got something worse, which is controls and or the board itself. Um, and then I really believe you got to call a hot tub company at that point to get that replaced um, But if that helps you indicate what's going on looking through your panel through your disconnect checking each Leg for its voltage Testing it and then getting into your board testing it and then checking that LED pull off that little It's like a 26 gauge very small black and red just pull that off and that's down all, Of course in this panel in here. There's a black panel there um, But yeah, I got no indicator light whatsoever not a single point of life. Hopefully it'll help you out, guys. If you're do-it-yourself, please don't kill yourself.